patriotic hammer Look at that. has joined us for today in live game day. Thor, let's break it down. We've got to watch movies in between all of the Olympic action. We do. Kevin Costner providing us with the first one. Okay, he stars as an international spy who's on one last mission, and he also has to reconnect with his estranged daughter in Three Days to Kill. Mm. Five minutes from now, this team will save thousands of lives. Under no circumstances does this briefcase leave the area or it's war. He's on his way. Good or bad, when you work for the agency. All teams in position. It becomes your whole life. Cinematic espionage is back. We've seen this <laughs> fair before. You know, when I saw the trailer for this, Thor, I yeah. thought, okay, take in with Liam Neeson. Is this a movie that will revive Kevin Costner like that franchise did for uh, Liam? Perhaps, although the movie itself is not good, and they, I know, want to get a franchise out of it. I don't know if that's going to happen. Costner is really good and formidable in the role. Amber Heard, though, uh, she's horrible. She's just a terrible actress. I'm sorry. But how do you really feel about her performance? I'll let you know. It's got 20 minutes of expository dialogue at the beginning that really set things up awkwardly. It does have some decent action. The main problem with this movie, though, is its tonal shifts. It goes from, like, Costner killing guys to, like, a family drama as he's trying to reconnect with his daughter to, like, some weird, bizarre, quirky comedy, uh, courtesy of co-writer Lupe Song. So, it, to me, it was all over the map in that sense. Like, one, one minute he's, uh, you know, taking guys out, and then he's um, teaching his daughter how to ride. So, for me, the, the shifts in that were so jarring. I like Costner in this role, though. I want to see him do more of these kind of things. Um, and he doesn't, it's not awkward to watch him, and it does drag heavily in the middle of this movie, though. So this isn't bodyguard mag magic that we no. saw back in the day. It's not quite as bad as The Postman, but it ain't no bodyguard. I'll give you that. Tin cup? <laughs> yeah, maybe. All right, how many hammers for this one? Well, this had the potential to be a good uh, starter for a franchise, but Costner deserves better. Two out of five. Two out of five is the yeah. jump start. Okay, and then there's the end of the world movie. We've seen this time and time again. Pompeii. Yeah, historical epic set in 79 AD when a famous volcano is about to blow its top. Of course, we're talking about Pompeii. And Kit Harry who's best known as Jon Snow in Game of Thrones, takes the lead here. What do you say about this movie? I mean, he does his best with a horrible, horrible script, and it's full of great actors who are just collecting paychecks, namely Kiefer Sutherland uh, as the bad guy, who's got this really bizarre accent. Um, he seems to be having fun with it. The first half, if not three quarters of this movie, is a direct ripoff of Gladiator. Like, I'm talking plagiarism here. Um, and then it gets into the... Um, Volcano. There's some decent, uh, you know, sort of effects with good 3D moments. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's some eye candy. So there's something uh, like that for everyone if you if you like uh, these sword and sandal epics. My one beef though with the movie, well, there's a couple, but my main one is the performance by the main villain, Mount Vesuvius. Uh, I thought it was very lackluster. If I'm going to a volcano epic, I want to see guys melting and lava like taking everyone out. I want to see waves of lava. This had like, you know, some fire and a couple of like, you know, rock flying through the air and things like that. It needed more lava. Budget limitation, maybe? No! It was like $150 million, $180 million in this movie. They Ooh. spent a bundle. All right, how many hammers? Uh, nothing more than eye candy, and it was kind of a mess. And again, I can't stress this enough, needs more lava. Two hammers. Oh, so maybe this is a weekend to watch uh, Oscar contenders leading up to the award show next week. Yes, or Lego Movie. <laughs> Once again. Still killing it at the box office. All right, Thor, thanks so much. So let's check back in with Don over in Richmond.